Hello and welcome to this in-depth walkthrough of Darkfire by JMG Sound. Darkfire lets you isolate the added harmonics introduced by saturation and gives you the tools to shape them with surgical precision. Let me show you how it works. Darkfire's intuitive design is built around three main sections that process your signal sequentially from top to bottom. These sections are the input filter, the harmonic shaper, and the output filter. The input filter determines how much of the incoming signal's frequencies reach the saturator for processing and enhancement. The harmonic shaper is the heart of the plugin, where you'll likely spend most of your time crafting your sound. Here, you can add harmonics at the amount of your choosing and sculpt them to your liking. The output filter is similar to the input filter, but it processes the signal coming out of the harmonic shaper before it is mixed back with the original signal. Both input and output filters offer high pass and low pass knobs. These controls let you precisely filter frequency ranges within the audible spectrum. Now, let's dive deeper into the core of Darkfire, the harmonic shaper. The harmonic shaper consists of input drive, a three-band EQ, compressor, stereo widener, depth enhancer, modulation control, and harmonics level. Input drive controls the amount of gain applied to the saturator's input. The three-band EQ can be tweaked from negative 12 decibels to positive 12 decibels. It is modeled from a classic passive tube equalizer. The comp knob controls the amount of dynamic compression, modeled after a legendary classic analog compressor. Stereo adjusts the stereo image. Turning left reduces stereo width to mono, while turning right widens it and can even create stereo from mono signals. Depth adds a 3D depth effect through psychoacoustic short delays. Mod generates pitch modulated copies of the signal, creating a chorus or unison effect. It can be used to add movement and interest to your sounds. Harmonics level adjusts the level of the processed signal added to the dry signal, similar to an internal dry or wet knob. Take note that several functions have additional options accessible via the ADV button. This reveals switches for different varieties of the same functions. All high-pass and low-pass filters in the input and output sections include a slope selector, 6 decibels or 12 decibels. Enabling advanced options adds frequency selection for each EQ band. These frequencies include 60 Hz or 100 Hz for lows. 300 Hz or 700 Hz for mids, and 4 kHz or 10 kHz for highs. You can choose between tube and tape saturation types and enable a feature to saturate quieter levels more intensely. The compression knob allows selection between two analog compression types, VCA or Voltage Controlled Amplifier, and FET or Field Effect Transistor. For stereo, you can widen the stereo field across the full frequency range or only high frequencies. Depth offers tight and deep options. Modulation provides slow and fast modes. Darkfire also allows you to solo the harmonic enhancements during sculpting using the listen button, denoted by the headphone icon. This ensures you are making the correct mixing decisions based on your vision. Additionally, like most of our plugins, Darkfire includes utilities such as oversampling, automatic gain compensation, a safety limiter, a power button for bypassing, A or B storage for comparisons, undo, redo, and professionally crafted presets ready for use. Notice that whenever you tweak any knob, you can see the exact value here at the top in the preset section. You can also double-click any parameter and enter the exact value of your choosing. Darkfire excels on all sounds in your mix and truly shines in the mastering stage, delivering surgical enhancement, power and depth to your overall mix. Let's listen to some before and after samples.
With that, I'll leave the rest for your capable hands to explore. Don't wait. Excite your sound like never before with Darkfire by JMG Sound. Get your 15-day fully functional trial version at unitedplugins.com.